Hello and welcome to Treasure Maps 2. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's jump right in. This is the second of a three-part series where we're talking about how to use mapping tables to get from point A to point B. In the first video, we learned about the sum ifs function, and that was one of the ways that we could mechanically implement a mapping table within Excel. In this video, we're gonna talk about Power Query. So just like in the first video, we have a data source of accounts, we build a mapping table to provide the translations, and the end result is a report. So first, we need to go and retrieve the data with Power Query. To do that, I'm gonna to go to Data, from text CSV. I'm gonna to browse to the data source and select it. And if this data needed to do some transformations to clean it up and prepare it, I could by clicking transform data. This data is ready to go, so I'm just gonna click load to. I wanna send this into a connection only query, so I click okay. We've retrieved the data, now let's go get the map. The map provides the translations. Once again, from text CSV, I browse to the map and I could transform it if I needed to clean some stuff up, but this looks like it's good to go. So I will load to, and again, I'm gonna send it to a connection only query. Now we need to combine these two data sources. We need to merge them. So the way that we do that is get data, combine queries, merge, and I want to grab everything from the data table, and I want to find the matching rows in the map. So if you're familiar with VLOOKUP, we would identify the lookup column. Uh, and here in Power Query, what we do is we just identify the lookup column by selecting the columns. So this is going to go and find you know, each account in the map. And this looks good, so I'm gonna click OK. And in the Power Query editor, what I end up with is the account ID and amount columns, that's from the data table, plus the related values that it finds in the map. So what I wanna do is expand this and pick and choose the columns from the map that I want to include. I want the account name and the FS item. I don't need this, so I'll click OK. And now I only really need to carry forward the columns that I need. So in this case, I don't need the account ID, so I'm just gonna hit delete. If I wanted to reorder these, I could. I could just click and drag and click and drag, and that's fine. And when we're done, I'm going to close and load two, and now I wanna send it into a table, into an existing worksheet, starting right here, and click OK. All right, so now we've got that. Let me go and close this. So now what I can do is use the SUMIFS function to prepare the report, to pull the values from the Power Query results. So equals SUMIFS. And I want to add up this column of numbers, but I only want to include those rows where this column comma is equal to this. Close the function and enter. And now I can just copy and paste, 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 and paste. 266313, 266313, and we got it. So again, we're in this series of different ways to implement mapping tables. And this is the second way, which is through Power Query. All right, see you in the next video. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 